Hello, welcome to Looky Looky Loo. I'm Candice, and uh, I'm just here today doing nothing. I am trying to mod podge my painted paper just to see how that turns out. And uh, hopefully, it, it won't peel off like uh, one of my boxes here. I put a uh, just a clip on it. The clip had a little bit of glue in it. When I took it off, of course, it made a spot on my box. It took the paint. And it's just a little spot, but it's just enough to irritate the crap out of me. So I'm going to try to put a coating on my, my painting papers and see if, if that won't help the problem. Uh, it's supposed to dry clear. And this is one of the first painting papers I've done, but it had some, uh, you know, I just was kind of like did a little square, and then I did another little square, just test them out to see what I could do with my brushes, and if I could make shapes and clouds and stuff like that. And uh, well, it had spots in it that I did like. But most of it, you know, I didn't like it. It was just me messing around. But it had white spots in between. So I decided I'd color in the white spots. And guess what? It, I made it worse. <laughs> so sometimes it's better just to leave things alone. I have determined. Now, if this isn't necessary... One of you experienced ladies, tell me, you know, because I don't know, I don't know anything. I'm just starting and just trying to solve the problem because I, I've got to make me another set of boxes for my the right side of my desk because the ones I made for my left side are loaded. They're overflowing. And I'm not even sure what I got in them. But my organizer box is supposed to. That ain't a hair, y'all. That's a piece of my brush. Make it easier for me to get to my stuff. So unless I can figure out how I can reach it, it's not going to be easier. It's just going to be piled on top of each other. Well, I don't have to go to all the trouble to make a box for it to be piled up. I could do that without any help at all. <laughs> so I'm going to try for another set of boxes and this time I saved me a pop tart box so it'll be a little bigger but I'm still using my two boxes for the rest of it so I want to wrap it with something and I haven't picked out a paper in particular to wrap it with. But I'm thinking I'll use the ugliest ones. Or the plainest ones. Or, you know, stuff like that. Now this one, I really wanted to put the white patches on. So I'm going to forego the Mod Podge for right now. And find me a white paint. And go ahead and put the, the patches on it. Okay, I know you're up here. Because the left side of my desk, and I'm not handed, so I don't know how it turned out. That the left side of my desk has uh, all my stuff on it. So, yeah, go figure that one. I don't know, ladies. I've already torn this one a little bit, which really upsets me. But it is what it is. So I'm going to get my white paint, and I'm just going to make uh, patches out of it. So if I don't get my, my brushes mixed up, this might not be the right brush, but uh, this is all I'm doing. Just kind of making a white spot where the color changes only because I like that look I mean maybe nobody else would like it but I, I as it turns out 
like like that look. If you can get them all. So I do this, and then after it dries, I inevitably will find some that I missed. And then I have to, you know, add some more, but that's okay. So I've stopped doing one project and started doing another. Well, I don't know, does that happen to other people? <laughs> But it's all in, in line with uh, getting my desk a little more organized. Because really, I don't have any space, y'all. I have a very small living room. I don't even have room for a coffee table or end tables at, at the ends of my couch. My couch takes up the whole darn wall. And so I don't even have that space for storage. You know, under the coffee tables if, or the uh, end tables, if you have that kind of furniture, which I always did like to have. The furniture with the cabinets in it. But I didn't really put a lot into this house because when I moved here, I was only going to be here for three years for my son to go to school. He was going to that NASCAR school, but that didn't work out, so, yeah, waste this. And I've been here 10 years, so, yeah. Been here a whole 10 years. But I never set up a permanent place here. And I know I'm not gonna stay here for the rest of my life, so, Again, I don't want to put up a permanent place because it's expensive to move all that stuff. So I wouldn't mind walking away from anything I got right now. I mean, I wouldn't leave it. I would trash it or give it away. If anybody wanted it, it was worth having. So, but I know I'm not going to be here permanently. Which gives me very little space. So I got my little desk here. And it doesn't have any drawers or anything. It's just like a tabletop, and one end of it fits inside my bookshelf, which I thought was really cool when I got it. And my landlord gave it to me. Somebody moved off and left it, and he asked me if I wanted it, or I asked him if I could have it. I can't remember exactly, but anyway, I thought it was pretty cool, and he gave it to me, and I hate it. I literally hate it. I mean, what was I thinking? Because the desk fits inside the bookshelf. And I can't reach inside the bookshelf. I can't reach the far side of the bookshelf. So that makes that part of the bookshelf useless. And I can only reach a partial side of, of the bookshelf at the part of the desk that I'm sitting in. Because the desk is in the way. So it makes the whole thing inconvenient. And I can't dust it. So what I thought was really cool turned out to be really terrible. This is a stiff brush. And don't let me get into the nooks and crannies of my patches here. I may have to trade my brush. Let's get a smaller one. Try this one. Might take a little longer. I think that's better. There. 
So anyway, I don't like myself. I forgot why I was telling y'all that. Oh, I don't have much space to put things. So what I did was put little thumbtacks, and I'm sorry if I already told y'all all this. But I, I don't upload so many videos. It's hard for me to keep track of, of what I told you in videos I uploaded and what I didn't upload. So what I did was I put my little push pins along the side of my bookshelf that ain't up against the wall. And I hung all my stickers and bling and stuff up there. And that way I can easily reach it. And across the front, I got a couple little push pins so I could reach my, uh, my, my, my sketch pencils and my chalk and, you know, a, a little, little bags of stuff. So that's working out for me. But I did have to put holes in my bookshelf from the little push pin. That's okay because I don't like it anyways. But I want more stuff. You gotta have a lot of stuff to craft. <laughs> you need more stuff. So, I don't have a lot of places to put stuff which means my little boxes are supposed to help me have more space. And I should be able to reach up and just pick up a little box and, and know what's in it. If it works out that way, it'll be good. And if it don't, well, I'll have to figure out something else. I also got a big suitcase in my closet. I'm, I'm about to bring it out and get my son to bring it out, probably when he gets back from his first trip. And to put all my material in there because right now I just have it in boxes it, it, sitting around the living room. But I could just put the whole suitcase on the couch and put all my extra material in it. And that's what I'm going to do. And, and that'll clear me up some space. Because this house is tiny. This is the tiniest house I ever lived in. And it don't have much storage. I put all my food in the laundry room. Because the little pantry shelf is it, so small that it's claustrophobic. And I can't really get to it. You can only get an arm in there. I mean, so it's not big enough closet for my, my body to stand in. So, storage is an issue. And it, part of it could be is that I just never set this house up right. Because I didn't plan to be here long. Some plans don't work out. But I got a really great landlord. He's a good Christian. He don't bother me. He only shows up for rent every couple of months. I mean, so... He ain't hounding me or anything. If anything breaks, he fixes it. And, you know, so he don't mind my pets or that I'm a smoker, so I got so lucky. I, I feel like, you know, the Lord was looking out for me when I found this place. Even though it ain't in the best of neighborhoods, there ain't any issues around here. Oh, there's my time, guys. So, you know, I, I'm not afraid to be here. 
So in a lot of ways, you know, this is the perfect little house for me. And I have nice neighbors. I don't know them. But they're nice. From what I do know of them. So that's kind of keeping me here a little longer than I intended. Because it costs a lot of money to move. And there's a lot of good about being here. So I'm just going to try to make it work for me a little better. Okay, I think I got all those patch pieces. How does that look to you guys? I think that looks pretty good. If I didn't lose any spots. Now I got a couple more of these to do. And I think I'll do them. working toward better space. So I just have these done. And I'll let that dry and then I can uh, come back and launch project. Just so I don't lose any of my paint if something gets stuck to it. And I'm hoping that Mod Pod works in that manner. I don't know. So if y'all know, you let me know. See, I thought I was done, but I got this little piece right here. Hiding off in the corner. A little purpley here that needs a little borderline. There, okay. I think I got it. I don't know why I like the patchwork so much, but I do. Oh, here's one. See? When you think you're done, you're not done. Okay, lines. So I want it to dry so I can fix it. There's a much much and get my boxes wrapped. Anywhere? Anywhere? About got it. About got it, I think. Maybe I didn't lose any. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. And my minutes are over. So I'm doing good. This is one of my darker ones, so. Yeah. I think it's pretty cute. I think the white really pops it out. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to let you go. And, uh, as always, do as Lord needs you to do. And I will see you on my next video. Alright, bye-bye now.